Hello, 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 and welcome to Money Sprinkles, where we talk about personal credit and business credit. I am so excited to be here today, being Monday, the 30th of January, 2023. Um, February is right around the corner. I just want to say thank you so much for all of you that have liked and subscribed to my channel. I am so grateful for you. Okay. And if you haven't done so, please take a minute to like, subscribe to my channel and share, 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 share. That is how word of mouth is going to, these videos are going to get around. It's called word of mouth. Okay. Today's video, we're going to be talking about Truist. I've had quite a few questions about Truist business credit cards. So we're going to get ahead and talk about that today. Okay. So without further ado, let's get ahead and get started. All right. All right. I am back. As I stated earlier, we are talking about today, Truist business credit cards and Truist currently offers three business credit cards. They offer the Truist business cash rewards, the Truist business travel rewards, and the Truist business. So we are definitely going to be talking about these three credit cards. But without further ado, I want to go ahead and, and talk a little bit about Truist credit cards and why I feel that you should know before you get a business credit card, you need to know exactly what is the purpose that you're getting these credit cards for. Um, and the reason why I say that is because these business credit cards offer awesome 0% APR for nine months, sometimes to 12 months. And in order for you to take advantage of that zero introductory APR, you have to know what are you going to be investing in, whether you're going to be via investing in real estate, investing in rental renovations, investing in e-com. Okay. If you're going to be investing in e-com such as Amazon, Amazon FBA, um, I definitely recommend you to check out at Luis Bolinao, B-O-L-I-N-A-O. He is an amazing YouTuber and an amazing content creator, um, and he has mastered the ins and outs of Amazon. So go ahead and check Lewis out out there. But in, let's say, for instance, that you're going to do Amazon FBA and you need to buy purchase you, purchase. you need to purchase merchandise. So that's when the zero percent introductory APR comes in because you charge it to your business credit card, and what you do is you turn around and you sell it on Amazon. And now you're getting your money back and you pay your credit card and you keep doing this because it's a 0% introductory APR. Okay. So you need to make sure that you are aware and know exactly what you're going to do with this free introductory APR. If not, don't apply yet. Make a plan first. Okay. Um, let's talk about the data points before we get started. Data points for Truist. Okay. Um, are, are important because again, as I stated earlier, you know, you must use it wisely. Okay. So the data points, I have known people to get, um, business credit cards, of course, PG personal guarantee with the credit score as low as 640. But of course the sweet spot is 700 utilization, less than 10%. And in case you didn't know, Truist is based on geolocation. So make sure that you're one of those states where Truist does conduct business at. Um, and if it's not one of those, then you might want to go ahead and look into getting an address or a relative that might have an address in those geolocations. Okay. Truist is very generous and liberal when it comes to credit limits. So it's an amazing credit card to have. No relationship is required, but it definitely helps. As I stated earlier, personal guarantee is a must. They do not report to your personal credit. And one very important point is you cannot have a virtual address such as iPostal, uh, UPS, USPS. Okay. Make sure it's a physical address, no virtual address. If you do not have an actual address for an office or commercial, then use your home address. That is the best thing to do instead of using a virtual address. Um, okay. Cause they will not approve you with a virtual address. Okay. So those are the data points and they definitely pull from Equifax and they look at your FICO eight. Okay. So, and again, this is one of those credit cards that pulls from Equifax, um, on your personal side, and there are not too many of them. So take advantage of this. If you are in the geolocation where you could apply for a truest business credit card. Okay. Now, Let's talk about the approval letters. If you get an approval letter from Truist or you get an email stating that you're going to receive a letter in five to seven days, that means that you are likely approved, not saying it's guaranteed, but you are likely approved 
to get a credit card. Now, if you receive an email or a letter stating 30 days that they're going to take it into revision and look over it, more than likely you're going to be denied. Okay. But if you're denied, go ahead and reach out to the reconsideration line and ask them to reconsider at maybe at a lower credit limit or just to get you started. Okay. All right. Now that we got the data points out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about these truest business uh, credit cards that they offer. Currently, they have the Truest Business Cash Rewards. It has a 0% uh, introductory APR for nine months. That could hold you over on buying some merchandise and selling it around on Amazon or buying it at Marshalls, Home Goods, and then turning it around and selling it on Amazon. Okay. And currently, the APR is 16.49 or 25.49, which will actually go into effect after nine months. Zero annual fees. And they definitely offer, as the card itself sell, states, truest business cash rewards, 3% on gas, 2% at restaurants and office supplies. So that's really good. And then 1% on all other eligible purchases. Um, they also offer what they call a loyalty bonus is when you deposit cash rewards into an eligible truest business checking, saving a money market. And again, this is them trying to get you to build a relationship with them and not just only get their business credit cards, but also use their business checking and savings account as well. Okay. Um, let's go to the next one. The next credit card is a truest business travel rewards. And as the credit card states is mainly for traveling. You're going to earn two miles per dollar spent on airfare, hotels, and car rentals. And then you're going to earn one mile per dollar spent on all other eligible purchases. Currently, the APR for that is starting at 16.49 and going up to 25.49%. Um, but currently, they have an annual fee of $49. However, it is waived right now for the first year. That is a Truest Business Travel Rewards card. And again, it's for those frequent flyers, international travelers, this is a great credit card to have. And then we have the master of all masters. This is the truest business credit card, okay? 0% introductory APR on purchases for 12 months. That's the big nugget here. That's the one that you want. 14.49 starting all the way up to 23.49 based on your current credit score. That is how your variable APR is um, a attached to your credit card. Currently, zero annual fees. And it doesn't receive any type of reward or loyalty bonuses because you have that 0% introductory APR on all purchases for 12 months. Okay. Um, again, it's what these are the three credit cards that Truist offers. It's an excellent way to get your credit cards for your business. Um, as I stated earlier, the data point is 640 plus, but in your credit score or 700 will get you in. And they definitely pull from Equifax on your personal side um, and with the FICO 8. I hope this video has helped you. If it uh, has, please make sure you comment and uh, share with everybody. Share, 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 share. My goal is to get 1,000 subscribers here before March, okay? Help me out, all right? I'll talk to you all soon.